Next tonight inside the JFK files finally released and there are still many to come. But in the documents already new intrigue and new questions tonight among them an unconfirmed tip to a British newspaper minutes before the shooting. And after Lee Harvey Oswald was killed, the memo from the FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover, and his concern, writing that the U.S. must believe Oswald acted alone. ABC's chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, was at the archives when the files were released. Tonight, President Trump getting caught up in his own JFK conspiracy after deciding not to release all the documents tied to the assassination. Senator Chuck Grassley, a Republican, tweeting, CIA wants further cover-up. POTUS, stop. The president's decision coming after an appeal from the CIA and the FBI that releasing certain files could put the lives of some of our spies in danger. Among the secret files, an unconfirmed tip that on the same day of the assassination, the Cambridge News, a paper in England, received a mysterious call instructing a reporter to call the American embassy in London for some big news. That alleged call came 25 minutes before Kennedy was shot. Two days later, assassin Lee Harvey Oswald killed on live television. There is Lee Oswald. He's been shot. In an FBI memo, director J. Edgar Hoover outraged, calling that shooting inexcusable, fearing it will feed conspiracy theories, and saying he wants something issued so that we can convince the public that Oswald is the real assassin. And other documents show investigators ruling out potential collaborators. A House committee draft memo dismisses Cuban dictator Fidel Castro, saying the risk would not have been worth it. But the documents do show how the CIA was trying to kill Castro, with methods crazier than anything in a James Bond film. From using a ballpoint pen with a poison needle, to gifting Castro, an avid diver, a tuberculosis-contaminated wetsuit, and even wanting to place what they call a booby trap spectacular seashell set to blow apart when it was lifted from the ocean floor. Just incredible, and it turns out that seashell plan was abandoned because they couldn't find a shell big enough. We kid you not tonight. Tom Yamas back with us live this evening. And Tom, along with the files, the questions tonight for the Trump administration about why the president promised repeatedly in tweets all of the documents would be released. You know, they had 25 years to plan for the due date in Washington. It's not just the Trump administration, but they're the ones who tweeted out saying it's all coming. Why the delay? While the White House is citing national security concerns, they did release 2,800 documents overnight, and we know that at least 18,000 records from the CIA are still being guarded. Some of those documents will be released over the next six months, and President Trump tweeting just this morning, it's his hope to get about almost everything out to the public. David? Still more to come. Tom Yamas, our thanks to you again tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.